Right, 75 years ago today, U.S. and Allied forces launched Operation Neptune. Now, that's the mission more commonly known as D-Day. Now, this was a turning point in the fight to turn back Adolf Hitler and the spread of Nazi Germany, but it came with a heavy cost. Jay Gray joins us now this morning from Normandy, France, where President Trump and thousands are gathered to remember and say thank you to those who served. Jay, we spoke to you yesterday. Emotions were high then. I can only imagine today on the anniversary. A lot of emotions there where you are. No, you're absolutely right, Crash. We say thank you to you and, and your father for his service. I know that he was a, a service member in World War II. Look, once a battlefield, this is now a sacred burial ground and a tribute to the survivors as well as the more than 4,000 Americans, most under the age of 20, who died during the D-Day invasion. Only the highest courage and determination could avail. 75 years later, the sounds of war still echo along the French coast and in the minds of the men who were there. All you could hear was machine guns going. They never stopped. Every time I think about that, I get a sick feeling. You know, it always comes back. And they come back because, they say, there's a comfort in being together here. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. In this place, where the carnage of war has been replaced by monuments and manicured lawns. Thank you for your service. Today, they're celebrated and honored for their courage and unyielding spirit. But those fortunate enough to survive are the first to tell you their heroes' names. These men and women died for their country, and they, we got to remember them. Are the ones etched in stone. Yeah, you know, such an important time right now because the number of those who are survivors are, are dwindling quickly. And, and D-Day is going to go from what is now an oral history, something we hear from these men, to only something you can read about in the history books. So, Crash, uh, this is a very important anniversary. Absolutely, it is. Thank you so much. Jay Gray live in Normandy, France. Yeah, we're losing up to 300 Thanks, veterans per day. So uh, it, it is sad to think about, but uh, good that the younger generation is, is getting to remember this. Now, right after Morning Rush, the Today Show will be live from Normandy commemorating the 75th anniversary. But right now, there's special coverage of the anniversary. Now, that's on our website. Just go to 11alive.com.